5.45 a.m., Friday the 5th of July, and the Windsor Castle comes into Southampton at her usual time on the regular service from South Africa for her usual 14-day turnaround. Into Southampton. It is on record that an act was passed in the 43rd year of the reign of His Majesty King George III for improving the port of the town of Southampton, for making a convenient dock for the security of ships, for extending the quays and wharfs, and making docks and piers in the harbour there. Herewith, Southampton's new docks, presenting one and a half miles of quay and offering ten berths, accommodation for ten large ships at any one time. In addition to the forty berths and three and a half miles of quay available in the old docks, both favoured with a small tidal range, prolonged high water as well as deep water, and thus approachable by the world's largest liners at any time of the day or night. Windsor Castle baggage on one of the five electric portable baggage conveyors. Very necessary in Britain's premier ocean passenger port. Upwards of 350,000 passengers pass through here every year. This includes 60% of all non-European transits and 80% of all South African and USA passengers. They come in all sizes, and everything possible is done to see that they are comfortable and well catered for whenever they have to wait. This is 102 terminal. There are seven others in the docks, setting a fair standard in passenger accommodation and facilities. The Windsor Castle, having fully discharged her cargo, will now go into dry dock. There are six dry docks, ranging from 281 to 1,200 feet in length. Most of the regular boats at some time occupy one or the other, and quite a number of casual callers as well. This one is the King George V graving dock. It's one of the biggest in the world, 1,200 feet long and 135 feet wide. Designed for anything up to 100,000 tons, it takes the Queen's regularly with room to spare, so it takes the Windsor Castle comfortably. The world, the Windsor Castle is now high and dry for her periodic check. Orders are to examine underwater parts of hull, clean and paint, examine propellers, shipside sea valves, cables and anchors, any repairs, Harland and Wolf or Thornycrafts, both here. And whilst that is underway, remember she's still got to sail at her normal scheduled time. Her cargo is already accumulating in the shed, back at berth 104. Only two weeks ago, the Windsor Castle arrived from Cape Town with 765 passengers, 6,579 tons of cargo, and 1,713 bags of mail. Having disembarked her cargo, undergone a routine check, cleaned and repainted in dry dock, and having loaded 6,540 tons of cargo, 7,625 bags of mail and embarked 824 passengers, she is now outward bound for the Cape once more. In six weeks' time, she will be back again, by which time five other castle ships will have done the same turnaround. And 310 ships of other lines and from other places will have done the same. To keep on the move is good for them and good for Southampton. <laughs>